Hey brothers and sisters, it's Jared. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the satanic, occult, and antichrist propaganda and symbology that is showing its face in our popular media and children's programming in these last days. This is also going to be a video response to Alex Hirsch and his fans who were able to see the Gravity Falls video that were posted on this channel. Now, Alex Hirsch, the creator of the television show, tweeted on his Twitter, Actual preacher gives a sermon on Gravity Falls. Can someone please remix this? And then conversations uh, came after that where Alex ended up saying, Tail spin, more like tail sin. Chip and the devil rescue derangers. Godless bears bouncing here and there and straight to hell. And first I would like to thank the Lord that you were able to see this video, Alex, as well as many of your fans. And secondly, I want to tell you that I completely understand where you're coming from. I don't know what your worldview is, but I would like to tell you that the Word of God is the truth. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life to God the Father. It has been revealed to us in Scripture that we who are of God know that we're of Him, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. I know this is hard to understand, but what I would like to do is just show you what is going on in the industry that you're in, and I know that you are there firsthand, so you probably see it from a different viewpoint that I do. But I would just like to present this to you, and we can talk about it throughout, and at the end, I, I have a message for you. So. Without any further ado, we're going to get started looking at Cartoon Network and the programs that are coming out on it right now. How our children are under attack. From teachings in the school, to peer pressure with friends, and indoctrinating programming with the satanic media. We're going to be taking a look at Cartoon Network and how it is being used to indoctrinate children to the signs, symbols, and ideals of the satanic cults. The first show we are going to look at is Mr. Pickles, which recently premiered on Adult Swim. Now, Adult Swim says that it is for adults, but the reality is it is on a children's channel, and kids watch this show as well. And even if it is for adults, the level of satanic filth in this show no one should want to watch. And what is worse is the subliminal satanic messages they flash on the screen for an instant that assault your subconscious. Brothers and sisters, it's late. The season promo openly told the audience they are indoctrinating them and told them to sell their souls while flashing images of Baphomet. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but they do these little quick flashes and this image pops up right here. You have the pentagram 666 and saying, good boy. Then it zooms into the dog and you can see this happen. We had to slow this down. And of course it's a in lot his eye. So you can actually of see course. it. Here, I'll do it again. It goes in the pentagram. Shows you the 666, the skull. Upside down cross with the pentagram in the middle saying good boy again. Pyramid all seeing eye. So as you can see clearly right here, Mr. Pickle sitting on top of a throne. You've got a pentagram here. You've got one here. It looks like it's written in blood. You've got this sexual slave type thing, torture devices, a severed goat head with horns on top of this uh, lady waving the uh, leaf trying to treat him like he's a king. So as you can see, this is blatantly satanic. And what many people are going to say is, it's a joke. They do this to mock you guys. Well, what I'm going to tell you right now is Satan is a liar. He's a deceiver. He doesn't care if you believe that you're joking. He doesn't care if you don't believe in this stuff. He doesn't care as long as you support him, support what he is doing in this world, which is building an antichrist kingdom and a satanic society. This is the same same type of stuff that was going on at the Grammys. This is not a joke. Madonna dancing with demonic figures. It is Satan worship. Satan is using the medias of the world to promote his agenda. ACDC played afterwards and everybody in the crowd was wearing devil horns while they sang Highway to Hell. Satan is using media as propaganda to influence people. Do not be deceived and think this is a joke. This was all prophesied about. Our Lord Jesus told us that wicked men will wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Do not be deceived by the wicked. All right, so here's the beginning. It says, since 1425, one secret organization. Then it flashes over to the next set of texts. 
has sought dominion over the world of man. And then really quick, you get this flash. It says Illuminati. We've got to slow down the footage. Then it says, with an animated show about a dog, give your soul to Mr. Pickles. And then it flashes a picture, an old school symbol of Baphomet. Then you get a flash of a pentagram. This and crazy. that happens a couple times back and forth over the give your soul to Mr. Pickles image. Now, for those of you saying this is about a satanic dog, of course it's going to have that. You were missing the point. Please let me explain to you what is going on. If you disagree with me, that's fine. The satanic cults, no, they are unacceptable to the general public. So they are using the tactic of subliminal propaganda to shift the public opinion. Whereas 50 years ago, shows like this would have been picketed, they are now accepted because of gradual desensitization to evil through our medias. Now, why would Cartoon Network do this? The Bible warns us in 1 John 5.19, We know we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Cartoon Network is of this world, one of the pinnacles of children's entertainment, and we are going to take a look at how they are doing this. The first thing you need to know is Cartoon Network's logo is spelled out in the black and white checkerboard fashion. The occult believe in non-dualism, the necessity of good and evil, and the harnessing of both of these spiritual elements. This is why you will constantly see this imagery promoted in the Illuminati-controlled entertainment industry. Then Cartoon Network affirms this symbolism by incorporating the all-seeing eye in their television ads and bumpers. With the black and white non-duality checkerboard pattern and the all-seeing eye, this is like the kid version of their occult symbolism. The Illuminati eye is symbolic of the light bearer, Satan, Lucifer, their Antichrist Messiah. Now, this is just the logo and TV spots. In the shows and animated series is where the real symbolic reinforcement and satanic ideals are projected at our children. Now, we are going to look at a couple ways they are doing this, and remember, they do this under the guise of innocence. They cover their satanic rituals with cartoons, so it is not as offensive or obvious, but it is the same wicked satanic arts, and promotes and fosters the same antichrist spirit in our children. Now, if we look at satanic worshippers and cults, we'll see that one of their practices is the robe ceremonies for sacrifice or other satanic rituals. These ceremonies are often used to enlighten and understudy to the ancient secret knowledge of the occult. And that is exactly what they are introducing our children to in these television shows. They portray these robe ceremonies to children, introducing them to the occult at a young age. In SpongeBob SquarePants, a really popular TV show for kids, they blatantly portray the Illuminati pyramid with the eye of Lucifer. Inside the pyramid, they are having a robe ceremony, like the practicers of the occult. Now these occultists believe that Satan, Lucifer, is the light bearer. They live by the Gnostic belief that the serpent in the garden was good. They believe that he enlightened Eve by giving her the forbidden fruit. So, in this ceremony in the SpongeBob SquarePants show, the initiates get enlightened by the serpent in the cage by receiving a mark on their forehead. And this is symbolic of the mark of the beast. Now, they introduce children to ceremonies like these when they are young, so they are desensitized and prepared for the adult swim versions like in Lucy, Daughter of the Devil. Now that name should already give you a warning that this is satanic. And in this show, they have satanic rituals with human sacrifice. Sacrifice. The most monstrous of all satanic rituals. Ray Satan! reenactments of actual satanic rituals like at Bohemian Grove, where the satanic hierarchy perform a sacrifice and burn a giant idol in the image of an owl in the ceremony called the Cremation of Care in Bohemian Grove, California. Now, beyond these ceremonies, you will see that Adult Swim constantly uses the owl symbolism in their bumpers, often with creepy messages like, do not stray, or watching is better than living. Now, these statements should not sit well with anyone, 
and we must understand as soldiers in this battle we fight not against flesh and blood but spirits and principalities the reason these occultists are placing symbols on television is because the tv is our society's most worshipped idol and by putting their imagery in shows we enjoy they divert praise and energy to their satanic system countless children's shows are promoting this occult symbolism the illuminati pyramid is constantly presented to our children in their entertainment representing this antichrist system his late brothers and sisters and the symbolism is obvious but the last thing I am going to look at is the subliminal messages and pyramid praise. The subliminal messages are on the shows and masked to the conscious mind, but picked up by the subconscious. This is spiritual warfare on our minds. Satan is a manipulator. Adventure Time, a show targeted at children on Cartoon Network Primetime, is notorious of this. Like in scenes where for a split second, Demonic images are flashed on the screen for a frame. A demon is crowned in this scene on a throne in our children's subconscious. Now, the pyramid hand sign is also done both subliminally and blatantly. The satanic cults use this sign to worship the Antichrist system, and they are deceiving the world into worshiping the system by having their puppets promoted to their fans and followers. Jay-Z, a student of the mystery schools, promotes it to his fans, and by the thousands they raise their hands in worship. Barack Obama also promoted it during his campaign, under the cover of the letter O. But, as you see, the people who are throwing it up are also doing the same pyramid hand sign. In Seven Universe, another Cartoon Network primetime show for kids, they flash this symbol for a brief second while doing magic. Other children's shows use this symbol and relate it to our kids as the same robed occult ceremonies. And we have to understand that this hand sign is a promotion of the Antichrist. That's why in music videos, like from I Am Legion, you'll see them throwing up the hand sign in the darkness, and then it will fade to the person on the throne. This is symbolic of the Antichrist that they are worshiping, the one that is to come. Now, this is the most disturbing thing I saw involving these hand signs. This is a show that played on Saturday morning cartoons. It's called Symbiotic Titan, and it relates the pyramid to sexual immorality and lust. The isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. <sighs> This is sick, putting a spirit of lust and sexual submission in our children. The scripture tells us that the world lieth in wickedness, but in our society we are running further and further from God. So even in the professing church, people are not discerning and are subjecting their children to this programming and preparing them for the Antichrist system. I pray that this video shed light on what is going on in children's programming in this hour. Now, what we need to see is this, is that Satan is the master deceiver. You must know that because otherwise none of this is really going to make sense. The Illuminati is not a secret group of old men who are deciding things in the shadows, manipulating the world, getting cartoonists to put little images inside of their television shows. That's not what's going on. The Illuminati is the satanic spirit of the Antichrist, showing its face right now in our society, getting people prepared for the Antichrist. I want you to know, Alex, I know that your show has tons of this symbolism in it. Do I believe that you knowingly put this stuff in there because you're trying to worship the Antichrist? No, I don't believe that. I believe that you have not been born again and regenerated by the Holy Spirit of God. So, unknowingly, Satan is using you to put this programming and imagery inside of your television show. Even though you may not be meaning to support the Antichrist system, that is what happens when we are not born again by God and regenerated by His Holy Spirit. It is not an accident that all of this Illuminati, Satanic programming and imagery 
imagery is in these television shows. It's not a joke. It's not for publicity. It is a spiritual warfare showing its face in the physical realm. That is why we see all these pyramids and eyes, upside down crosses, people throwing up hand signs. It is all worship of the beast system. It's all worship of the antichrist system. Satan used to have the people of old make idols unto themselves, graven images, altars of worship, but now he has a new game and it is done through the television. It is done through the movie screen. It is done through popular music and radio. Satan is doing the same thing, new methods, and we must understand this lest we be swept away in his flood of filth. That is how this stuff is having such a massive takeover of our society. You have to understand the spiritual realm. I mean, I would just ask you this for dialogue with you. What was the motivation behind the character Bill Cipher? Did you just come up, up with it out of nowhere or was it something that you premeditated saying oh this will drive people crazy or what was it I would really like to know from uh, your perspective what this character was for I pray that a seed was planted with you and anyone else who is seeing this video. Brothers and sisters in Christ, if you are watching this, you must know that this is the type of programming that is coming for your children right now. We are living in the last of the last days. I do not know when the Lord Jesus Christ is coming, but I do know this. I know, you know the word of God tells us to love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. For if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Why is this said? Because this world is controlled by the evil one. Satan has his fingerprint on everything. So, does this mean that we are to huddle up inside of a box and close ourselves off from the world? No. That's not what it means. But what it means is, do not let these things grab hold of your heart. Do not become conformed to the image of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind is not renewed in these television shows. Now, I'm not going to tell you what you should or should not watch, but I will tell you this. You need to start testing the spirits behind what you are watching. Because if you are subjecting yourself to things without testing it to see if it's of God, that's a very dangerous dangerous place to be as a child of God in this fallen world. We must test all things to see if they are of God. And finally, Alex, I just want to impart some last things to you. If if you do see this and you don't believe anything that is said here, you think it's all over-exaggeration or it's all a bunch of people looking out for Doritos saying, oh man, that's evil, it's a triangle. That's not what it's about. These things are obviously showing a satanic spirit and mindset. I believe that there's going to be a great change coming to our planet. I don't know when it's coming, but I know that it is. And I know that we are going to experience great turmoil in this country. There's going to be an economic collapse. The dollar will be completely wiped out. And there will be a new monetary system. There will be wars and rumors of wars, famines and earthquakes. All sorts of turmoil will go on until the man of sin is revealed. He will be the false antichrist messiah. The one that these Illuminati, Satanists and occultists are preparing for. And then there's going to be a man of sin who is revealed and takes his place in the world powers to be the leader of this world. He will be the Antichrist. Remember these words. It comes to that point. I pray that you will remember what is said here and you will know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. He loves you, Alex. He has a purpose for you, a plan for you. You could be of great effect in this world. I know that. And I want you to also to know that I love you and every brother and sister in Christ loves you as well and would rejoice in your coming to the kingdom of God. God bless you. Be well in the Lord.